Hi, I'm Margherita from Daikin Europe. Today I'm in the village of Formai, in the north of France, to show in action a new functionality of the IKRF, the commissioning tool. Let's go and have a look. So, next to me is David, the technician who will take care of the commissioning of this new Daikin Alterma 3RF in this new house. David will use the commissioning tool on the Iker app, which will guide him, checklist base, through the whole commissioning process. Let's see how it works. Once in Iker, the first step to take is to register the installation. To do so, we need to input the QR code of the indoor unit, outdoor unit, and LAN adapter, if available. The address of the installation, the installation date, the information about the end user, and of the maintenance partner. After these steps, we can start the commissioning tool clicking on Complete Commissioning. The commissioning tool consists of a checklist that goes through all the parts of the installation, outdoor unit, indoor unit, hydraulic and electrical connections. Let's see some examples. The unit here installed is a Daikin Alterma heat pump type refrigerant split. Diameter, length and height difference of the refrigerant pipes have to be in line with the prescriptions of the installation manual. If the input from the user differs from the expected value, the commissioning tool will show an error message. For the indoor unit, the service clearances have to be respected, the drainage properly connected and the air purge valves open. The commissioning tool is showing illustrations from the installation manual, so that the technician can immediately visualize what to check and where. The primary objective of the commissioning tool is to ensure the safety of the installation. A pressure relief valve must be installed at the inlet of the domestic hot water tank. The fuse installed for the outdoor unit power supply must have the proper current rating. As we can see on screen, if the technician enters a wrong value, an error message is triggered. A wrong reply of one of these safety elements will cause a failure of the commissioning procedure. When the checklist is successfully completed, so without detected issues on the installation, the app will generate two documents. A commissioning report, that is a summary of the questions and replies provided from the technician, and a commissioning declaration. The commissioning declaration will be automatically sent to the end user's email as specified during the unit registration and it will be always available on the standby me portal of the end user. Going back to the eCare app, we can see that the status of the installation has changed from installed to commissioned. Now the warranty of the product can officially start. We just completed the commissioning of the unit via eCare app. The procedure took approximately 15 minutes. The technician can at all the time consult the details of the commissioning via eCare app as well as from his Stand By Me professional portal. Daikin, as well, has always the possibility to see the commissioning details of all the installations registered.